Okay, Angela right here again. We are still uh, in at Capitol Hill. We're in the House. Uh, the hearings are still going on. Looks like there could be a bit of a break, but it was an opportunity for me to talk about environmental racism and why sometimes people of color don't think necessarily that um, that climate change has anything to do with them or any of the issues that surround climate change. And I can tell you right now what happens. What happens is in poor uh, small towns like the one I was raised in in Texas, Lamarck, Texas, Texas City, Texas, we get large uh, disgusting chemical plants. Anything that is hazardous, uh, dangerous, they place it in low income neighborhoods where minorities and poor people are. And the result is asthma, other health issues, Think about what are known as food deserts. That means that you live in an environment where nobody wants to have a store there. A store says, you know, we can't make any money in that community. So the only thing in that community left is a 7-Eleven maybe and a McDonald's. And so that impacts the health of minorities as well. All of this is environmental racism, okay? All of this is part of what we're dealing with today. This level of environmental racism that, that allows lead to continue to seep into our water supply. Again, it's not just happening in Flint, it's happening all over, but Flint has been the catalyst and that's been the good thing. So I'm gonna to try to interview a couple of more people. <clears throat> I did talk to one woman whose entire family, her four boys, as well as herself, they have rashes all over their bodies. Um, I'm going to try to talk to some other people from Flint, but I did want to have that conversation about environmental racism. Look it up. Look, look it up. See what it means. If you're a minority, you need to know about this. Even if you're not, you need to know what environmental racism is and that it is a real thing. And that is what this is. This is environmental racism. All right. You can catch me at AngelaRay.com on Twitter. Spell Ray, R-A-E, and spell it out, dot com. I'm going to be here for a while, and we'll see what we can get, okay? Talk to you in a second.